Hi and welcome, my name is Markus Wendt. Uh, I'm going to be uh, giving a uh, technology demonstration uh, on OData and Composite C1. Um, be showing you how you can expose data in C1 using OData. Um, and the target audience are .NET developers and I expect this to take uh, about 10 minutes. So before we dive into the demo, I'll just quickly talk about what OData is. It's an uh, open web protocol for querying and updating data, uh, CRUD. Uh, it's uh, based on HTTP, ASMPUB, and JSON. It's uh, released by Microsoft, um, and it's um, uh, an open standard that you can use from any uh, client, but uh, existing cli client libraries include uh, uh, JavaScript, .NET, PHP, you can use it on uh, iPhone and Silverlight, and also on uh, Java. Okay, so uh, if you want to uh, see uh, OData running in uh, Composite C1, uh, you can go to our uh, documentation website for developers. It's uh, on uh, docs uh, Composite Net, and below uh, our data section, you'll find a, uh, a page uh, about OData describing. Uh, what you need to do in order to uh, install uh, the OData extension onto uh, Composite C1. It's basically uh, downloading a zip package and then uh, uh, inside uh, C1 uh, you upload it. I've created a website where I've done this. Uh, I have it running in Visual Studio 2010. Um, and uh, uh, the service endpoint for uh, uh, for my OData service is uh, located in, uh, in a root folder called OData. Um, so if I start a web browser and uh, go to that page, uh, I'll get some uh, some XML thrown uh, back at me. Now this is uh, um, all the data types in uh, Composite C1 that we show here. Uh, it's a uh, technology demo. Um, if you're going to use this for real, we uh, suggest that you go and, and, and modify our code and, uh, and limit the, uh, the data types you're exposing. But with this uh, up and running, um, I can go and, uh, and take this URL. And uh, I can go to a, uh, a OData um, client. Now, in this situation, I'm going to be using uh, uh, LinkPad. Um, if you're not familiar with LinkPad, uh, you can uh, download it for free at uh, linkpad.net. So once we have that, uh, I can go add a connection. I want a Windows Communication Foundation data service, which is uh, OData. I have the URL. And there uh, we go, okay. So now uh, LinkPad is querying my service, uh, getting uh, information about the types uh, that exist, and it's listing them uh, um, for me so I can, um, I can start writing a, a query. So um, I've just prepared a quick query so we can see this run. This will uh, go and select uh, pages from the system and order them by title. If we execute that. Ah, sorry, uh, I need to specify uh, my database where I'm querying the data. Okay, go again. So, uh, LinkPad is contacting the website uh, using uh, OData and uh, returning my, uh, my data here. This is done via HTTP, so uh, uh, you can you can use this for, uh, of course, uh, uh, also as a developer to uh, to to, uh, to queries against your data remotely. I'll just quickly uh, do another sample. Here I'm uh, grabbing a specific page and uh, and reading the title from it. Of course, I've titled the page O Data. Also, what we can do is uh, if we uh, look around the different uh, representations of, uh, of my query, uh, you can see that I have a URL. Uh, if I take this particular URL and uh, paste it into my uh, browser, 
I'm going to this window and also see what's happening at uh, HTTP level. So um, this is fairly simple, and uh, uh, actually you 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 can approach this just using uh, URLs and then uh, passing XML uh, that you get back from the service. Just to show you uh, how straight up it is to work with uh, C1 and and uh, and OData in this case, uh, this is the uh, the composite C1 uh, console I have here. I've uh, gone into the data. Um, perspective. And uh, I'm about to create a new uh, data type. Um, just add a price column and specify it to be a uh, decimal. Now if I go save this, uh, you'll see that it will show up in my, in my list to the left. Uh, I have uh, given my, uh, my type the name Odays and put it into a namespace called demo. So right now what C1 is doing is uh, it's generating code, uh, generating an interface. Uh, and uh, so I have uh, like a type safe data layer. I'll just quickly add some data to this so we can see something. Um, test one. Select some date. Take whatever, say promote this. We'll do a price of 22.5. Uh, I'm running with US logo here. Okay, so we save that. I'll just add another one. Oh, needs to be a number, of course. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so now I have some data. If I go into uh, LinkPad and I uh, refresh this, and we look, and here we have uh, our new type we just added. So let's uh, get some data from it. And run that. And uh, this is the data I just entered. So basically, uh, even though you are creating your types from within C1, uh, just like you can as a C Sharp developer uh, use a link against these uh, things, it's it's, uh, it's 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 CLR types, uh, uh, both type safety. It's uh, fairly easy to uh, to go expose your data uh, via O data. When you have installed uh, the package uh, I showed you in the beginning, uh, besides from creating this uh, service point here, uh, you'll find all the source code for it uh, in the uh, app code folder. Uh, so you can go and, uh, and change uh, and uh, see, also see how we did this. Okay, so um, that's uh, a quick uh, technology uh, demo of uh, OData and Composite C1. Thank you.